Welcome back to the channel, everyone. We have another rebuild project in the works here. This one's a little bit different. It's not a wreck like you guys are used to seeing. We bought this from Auction Clean Title. But listed as not running. So we have to dive into this. We kind of think we know what the issue is, but there's only one way to find out. I'm gonna go get the guys. We're gonna push this thing inside, get it on the lift. First thing we're doing is compression testing this car. Hey, can you come help push? you guys to help me come push. What the what f is that? Hey! Hey! What the f just happened? What's going on? Go. What did I just miss? Dude just took the Evo. Uh he it was a I saw him come through when I was filming one of my intros and he creeped by and he just grabbed the Evo. I'm trying to figure out, somebody from your company came and stole a car off my property yesterday. We repaid it. If you want it back, you're going to need uh, about $4,262.23. I just bought the car at auction. How would it have, how would it be repoed? I bought it at auction and paid for it. Sorry, that's, that's not my problem. I'm just doing my job. Where is my car? I think you should probably worry about paying the payments more than where the car is. Look, hey, wh where is the car? So we're on the street. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm baffled. You come, come by, come by the office, bring a check. We'll be happy to get I've got back. four grand dollars. Go I've got these bolt cutters though. Sorry. All right, let's go. See it right there next to that Civic, isn't it? Dude, there's a light right above it. It's locked. The gate's right there, though. There's no one around. We might as well just go for it. Hold on, hold on. Did you wear your company hoodie to commit a felony? Oh, shit. Right, we're good now. Let's go. It has been a couple weeks and we've had time to let everything cool down just a little bit, which means we can finally get the Evo in on the lift and get to work. In the meantime, we were able to confirm our suspicions about why this car was at a salvage auction while being a clean title car. Nothing. Weird. Okay. So we got coils unplugged. Unbolted. Unbolted with no lights whatsoever. Sounds like it might be an issue. That's right. It sounded a little clunky. Just a little bit clunky. Hmm. I don't know though. That doesn't like sound like super like, rod knock. Uh, so these don't have like, it's not a Subaru. It's a Mitsubishi. So it's not necessarily going to be rod knocking. It's just blown up, blown up. <laughs> It's just blown up, blown up. That is a, a technical term? Is that? Yes. Everybody watching this knows what I mean. Okay. If you act like you don't, you're, you're just lying. Oh. 
it's not, it's not even tight, so there's that. There's that off the jump. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say there's probably, probably a reason these things are loose. Look at the first one. Unless I cleaned it off. Look at how clean it is. And the yeah. other three are just like soaked like pig rich. All right, you, uh, you know what time it is. In the comments, what's the worst cylinder? How much compression do we have? Number one, five. The lowest cylinder, 40 pounds. 40 pounds, all right, what you guess, Al? I'm gonna go dead on zero. Zero, absolutely nothing. <laughs> Did I win? <laughs> yeah, you, you won. didn't even budge. I mean, if it's just the motor, Carrington, you think we should get somebody to build the motor? I don't know. Do you want it done before winter or not? I don't know. I'm asking you. You're the expert on, you know, machine shops and building motors. No, we are putting a replacement motor in this and... Taking it to the drag strip. Yes. If you want to run that, you know, 13.4. Be your fastest pass ever, though, right? Oh, that hurts, Carrington. Oh. Yes, the cylinder four is the issue. Evo titles here. Notice of repossession, who would have guessed? Oh my goodness. I have never seen the back of a title completely filled out and reassigned. Wow. How many buy here, pay here lot did this thing go through? Wow, well, that explains a lot. Get a look at the underside here. Doesn't really look too bad. These cars are usually pretty rusty. This one though, it's definitely not the worst. Intercooler support's got some on there. Not too bad at all though. All right. Oh, that's nice. The rear drive shaft is unhooked, so we don't have to worry about any damage from that repossession. This is nice. Smooth. Drain plug looks pretty good. Not that it much matters because this entire motor is coming out. Not my most thorough work, but it's off. We're gonna have a lot of work diving into this motor to diagnose the reason for the failure. I mentioned earlier that the drain plug looked pretty clean and I wasn't overly concerned about it because this motor wasn't going back in. But what I forgot about is the oil cooler. On these cars, they have issues retaining bearing material when there is an issue or just metal in general. And we need to figure out if we can reuse that oil cooler or if we are going to have to get a replacement for it, which will mess with our timeline 
just a little bit. In typical fashion for these rebuild projects, we went ahead and bought an entire car to get as many parts off of it as we can. You can see this is a completely healthy motor. And one of the nice things too is it is a complete long block. So we are gonna have to swap over a good amount of parts, but we also have some off of the other motor that will be able to be saved. It's a little more shimmery than it looked coming out. It's relatively hard to tell, but it does look like there's definitely some shimmer in there. Well, I kind of figured we would run into that at some point on this car. Lucky for me, I just picked up these brand new bolt biter impact sockets from Gear Wrench. Never going to be a better time to try them out than right now. Look at how marred up that is, but it got it off no problem. Now we got a little bit of room to work. I have assembled my hashtag Evo problems wall of shame pile here. These are going to hold up our progress a little bit. Notice heavy camber wear on these tires. Also some dry rotting, which might be hard to pick up on the camera. And then these two are the normal Evo headaches. I did mention the oil cooler earlier. We're going to have to go ahead and get one of those ordered. And then also this exhaust manifold that has heavy cracks on it. So we are not going to be able to use this and we do not have one in inventory. What that leads us to is tearing down this motor because what we have to do is pull some parts value off of this motor here. In order for this thing to be financially smart, beneficial, whatever adjectives you wanna use, we have to pull some money out of this because we are continuing to spend more money because of those headaches. I'm optimistic. I think that we might have maybe a good bottom end. I'm not, not at all. No? No. Okay, well, no. time to find out. We started with the leak down thinking that it might tell us something about where the issue is in that number four cylinder and literally got nowhere. So what we're gonna have to do is just start taking parts off of this thing and see what kind of carnage we find.
Pete heard me from all the way at the front of the shop say, oh shit. And this is why. Oh. <laughs> the foul. Yeah, you ready? Departed. This would explain why we have no compression on this cylinder. Yeah, not too bad at all. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so maybe I'll pick like the hardest one to start with. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Okay. The piston. Uh, no. Wow. That doesn't look normal. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Well, the funny part is we started this car and we had this car running and it made some funky noises and it makes me wonder if we got that wedge like that because it was kind of clanking around. Although I guess that could have been wedged and it could have been like Ringland or something because this piston is definitely messed up too. Oh man, look at that. Well, I suppose we're not gonna do any more damage. I almost wanna spin it a little bit. I wanna bit. spin it, yeah, and then. Uh, it spins nice and freely. Oh, look over there. Oh, damage over there. A little score. Oh, what about the other side? <sighs> that. It's not hateful. Nah, that actually isn't nearly as bad. I mean, Dude. it's a little bit. You can catch a nail on it, but there's no ridiculously deep gouges in it. It's just got some nice scoring. Wow. It's really See, like that one doesn't really even catch a nail. So these ones right here. Those ones do. Get the uh, proper valve removal tool. Oh, there we go, yeah, see, the right tool. There we go. It's in there, it's in there pretty good. Oh, there we go, boom. <laughs> That's impressive. Can we put some glue on it? You know that? Boom. Some glue. <laughs> <laughs> glue is gonna fix that. A little bit of tape on it. Oh, Run. Gorilla glue. Gorilla glue, glue, yeah. Pull on a horse power ready. <laughs> Gorilla glue, this thing's JB Well is what that is. Oh, JB Well, yeah. yeah. So as bad as this looks, everything that we have here is sellable. Even the head, as bad as the casting looks, somebody will use the parts out of it between the good valves, the springs. They might even use it as a mock-up for somebody that's doing some sort of R&D work on it. The block itself should be completely usable, but we do need to flip it over and check the crank to make sure that there's not any heavy scoring or anything along those lines. I'm not going to take the time to actually put it on an engine stand. We'll just put down some cardboard, make sure that we don't scratch up the deck on the top of the block and pop the pan off real quick. We'll pop the caps off one at a time and go ahead and see what we're actually looking at. Oh, what a mess that is. See some of the shimmer, some of the small shavings, but no big chunks, which is nice. All right, 
let's see. Oh man, that looks just, well, I was about to say just fine. The crank itself looks really good. That though has some wear on it. And that I don't think is necessarily from the failure as much as just maybe time. All right, well, we'll photo this and then we'll check another one here. Same thing, not too, too bad at all. Showing some wear, but certainly not nearly as bad as it could be. Now we play the waiting game for the parts to arrive. We hopped on eBay Motors, grabbed a tubular manifold and the oil cooler that we will need to get the Evo wrapped up. In the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and get all of the parts from the teardown motor listed. So we'll know how much value we have there and in the next video, we'll go ahead and get this thing put back together. At the end, we'll also have a breakdown of the finances of this car, which is going to be a little bit interesting. Honestly, it's very, very tight. It's going to depend on what we feel it's worth at the end when it's all said and done. Put back together, running and driving. Huge thank you to the guys from King's Towing and Transport. They came down, had a little bit of fun with us in the intro. They do everything from long hauls, pretty much cover the entire east side of the country from the Mississippi over to the coast. They also do local trips and just highway breakdowns, all your normal towing needs. If you guys need something, their information is down in the description below. Also, thank you to Willis Auto Repair. You guys have seen them in our videos before. They're our go-to spot here on the island for alignment, tire mounting when we need it, really any automotive odd and end that we may need that we can't take care of here in the shop they lent us their gated side lot for us to again have a little bit of fun in the intro which hopefully you guys enjoyed we're trying to mix it up a little bit with the content here trying to keep it fresh which you know the the bad acting side of it is something that is new to us and the more we do it the more we'll get better at it because that's bound to be mixed in a little bit here and there plenty of other fun content coming up so keep your eyes peeled. Make sure you guys are subscribed and have your notifications on. And we'll see you in the next video.